Hello everybody, my name is Dude and welcome to Woven, a game that needs a title screen! I'm looking at you developers, I, I just start the game and all of a sudden I get important cutscenes and game things and a narration and I just get thrown into it. Why the fuck do I have to start the game to get to a title screen and option settings? Why is there no window option? Why can't I not do windowed mode? Why you gotta have that? That's my only complaint so far. Let's see what this is about. It's a pointy clicky. We pointy clicky. To do everything? There- th Seriously, there was some spooky shit in the intro. Like all metal and there was a mantis and everything was all like And then just this thing. Although I must admit, the knitting work is excellent. Oh yeah. Totally. I'm concerned though, maybe this is gonna be a horror game and I don't want it to be. Also, the importance of title screens! I can't stress that enough! This is a game you buy on Steam too, like that, there is no excuse. I'm not saying he's a coward, but he's not exactly brave. Well, not in darkness anyway. Says you. Are you telling me that I have to go in there? Is it a spoopy? What? No, 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 no. Go in there. Go in there. Don't... Oh, fine then. Whatever. Does this... Do anything? It's a rusted button. Okay. Rusted? Is it a metal button? Looks like there's a bit of rust or decoloration. Decolorization. Some browning? Maybe it's just the paint's chipping off. I don't know. Now what is this metal machine doing here? Looking lifeless and all wrong. It's not yet a part of our story. Oh, Stuffy, move along. What do you mean it's not part of our story yet? We can't interact with it anyway, so it's not like it matters. Ugh. Head, an intricate little machine jutted from the ground, but Stuffy, of course, glanced over it for what also came into view was right. a pretty little bird, all colorful and mm. blue. Yes, Stuffy, go ahead, frolic, make some sound that could make him come around. That sounds like a terrible idea. Going by the intro that I saw that I wish I could play for you guys, I guess I could still. I'll left click to... Oh, okay, it's a button. Ah. Now Glitch wakes up and sees the world for the first time. What? Filling him with wonder blazing. For a woolen world stretched out before him. Soft, woolen. And frankly, quite amazing. Okay. For as long as he knew he had been blind, but now sees soft hands of wool, caring and kind. Who was this creature looking so terribly lost? Loose limbs and half its ear torn. How did it come to look so worn? Uh, apparently I was thought, messed up by some metal mantis thing. Was I don't know. That helped? And a kind thing too? For now, maybe. Circumstance had let their paths cross. They should stick together for now, and be less at a loss. Okay. Now for Glitch, this all was pretty strange. You see, gone was the cold metal, foul smoke and creaky clocks. His vision now filled with soft knitted hills and neatly quilted rocks. Was he the only metal creature here? Maybe. Oh. You got a light bulb? You got a light bulb? And a map? I, I don't know what that... I, I don't know. So, wait, if... Is that... If that... It's probably pointing me to this thing, right? In a world of soft shapes, fiber and stitch, stood a metal machine. Okay. With a socket perfect for glitch. Okay, what do we do? What the does it do? The came to life. It was made for knitting. With the right pattern, 
Glitch could make any fabric fitting. Ah, okay. He said stuffy, right? And found he would do so with delight. Now, why would that be? I don't know. This new appearance, Aww. Stuffy hooted with glee. Nice. Thinking life was too short to remain the same for all eternity. <laughs> Such an optimist. A little bit, yeah. Or a pessimist, depending on where that goes. What's that? Oh, that's the restitching thing. To your left, your collected animal patterns can give you varying abilities for each part. To your right, ah. you can apply any of the fabrics you have scanned so far. Smoke ah. will tell you when a knitting machine is near. How do I get out of it? It's just that. How do I get out of it? Oh, there we go. I, I was thinking it was missing an exit button. So I guess now I can go into that cave. Now the glitch has a has arrived and can give me a light. Stuffy could not be persuaded to enter the cave, mightily fearing the dark, and helplessly looked at Glitch, hoping he could give a spark. And he could. Nice. Oh. Keep an eye out. In the darkness, Ooh. Glitch's light gave the cave a reverent Ooh. Drawings done by Stuffy's kind illuminated the walls. Speaking of their safe life here, before the time of woe, where were they now? Where the time of woe? What do you mean the time of woe? That is really pretty, by the way. Holy shit. Another type of machine marred uh -oh. the otherwise colorful view, with arms like that of an insect, limp and still. It seemed to tug at Glitch's will. Now, why would it do that? He had no clue. Um. Please don't be a fight thing. This machine spoke to Glitch in words without sound. If they spoke back in the correct rhythm, something important could be found. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay, so it's like a little music thing. Okay. That's fine. Oops. I found a blueprint. Okay. Cool. This valley scene. Why would a machine containing a stuffy knitting pattern be here? Was there a connection with all these knitting machines near? Maybe. Oh. I don't know. A new shape could have other abilities. That was pretty good. Okay. Funny. This new blueprint contained patterns for both strong arms and powerful feet. Now we get to fight? I'm sure. Or are we going to be using it to climb? I I'm imagine we're going to be fighting in some form, though. This looks like a standard platformer, but all instead all I'm doing is clicky. You can scan the patterns on certain flowers, patches, oh. or creatures. Okay. Glitch will find special uses for some of these colorful features. Huh, all right. See. So let's uh, take a look. See what is this? Ah. Oh, it's a scan thing. Okay. Plum. And go in there, and let's see what this thing can do. Ah, that looks scary. Wait, that didn't... That didn't I didn't do it. I didn't do the thing. How does it do the thing? I just click any part of it? Ah, I'm an anteater. 
I don't mind the color so much, that's why. Maybe I could be plum? Is that what I need to be? Just do that. Be completely purp- a purple people eater. Now where do we go? Is that all we needed, or... I'm gonna move on now. Glitch didn't dare leave Stuffy behind. There was so much of this. Oh, we can push around. things. Okay. He had just awoken without memory. If off he flew, where to would he go? Good question. Besides, someone should keep an eye out for his newfound friend. Yeah. Who was better suited than a firefly that could apparently knit, fix, and mend? Ah, uh, good question. Maybe a knitting machine? Uh, boosh. Well, that was very easy. Very easy indeed. Can I scan anything here? Doesn't look it. Yeah, I can't scan anything here. There are more of those machines as the one in which Glitch had hmm. crashed to the ground. They will tell you about the chain of events that led to Glitch ending up here and being found. Okay, so a bit if of lore. You piece All right. Together what they are trying to say, that is. But what? what do you mean? All right, let's take a look. Glitch was, was engulfed by yeah. memories, images, and words, making no sense, but holding great worth. He remembered words without sound. He was falling to the ground. Something was lost, and great was the cost. He saw darkness and steel, felt the turning of the wheel. A great danger was unleashed, like an untamed beast. The hunt had begun, but when? The machine gave Glitch a glimpse into his lost memory, although this world did not seem to be in jeopardy. He would need to find more memories to understand any of it. So basically just find every memory I can and then that's it? I keep looking for things that I can interact with, and I can't... Wait, push... Oh! Didn't even think to push that. Stuffy was impressed by Glitch, solving all this complicated stuff. Glitch had real smarts. That was sure enough. Definitely. They're a robot, so I would hope that uh, they have a bit of an AI that can learn and do things. Is there anything this way? Ah, whoop, maybe. As Stuffy stepped on the pumpkin. The stream swept them on their way. But I didn't step on the pumpkin. Into the meadows, and the hidden wonders that therein lay. And the hidden, and as of yet still distant dangers, of course. But I didn't step on the pumpkin. That's when Glitch saw the moon and felt its immediate pull. It entranced him and endeared him, what? and made him stare like a fool. He wanted to go there. No, he felt that he should, but still not knowing how or for what reason he would. How could something so big be held trapped in the sky? It's he not the sky that's holding it. Thought, pondering the how and the why. It's more like space around it that's holding it, and we're just on this big view, round ball and the, 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 the stars, and that's how that works. By. Not much pondering. Magnets! How, not caring a whole lot about the why. He remembered having friends a long, long time ago. It felt right with Glitch at his side, and to be taken in tow. Okay. Ah, uh, Fragos. This is a really pretty game so far, but what I don't like is the fact that there's no title screen. I'm hoping when I start this game again, it won't like. Seeing the moon had changed. It'll have a title screen, you know. To get to it the wait, 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 wait. They wait. should be. 
Now since Stuffy can't swim, they would have to go around. My guess is that at the end of this path, a way up can be found. One of these paths, anyway. I have to wait for them to come to me first? It looks like I'm able to scan it. There we go. Did that kill it or did it just, like, flip out? It flipped upside down. Okay. Hoping it didn't die when it did that, or hurt itself. It's not good. So there's another... Yarn thingy. There's another... another what am I trying to say? There's another thingy over here. Let's go to the thingy. See what's up. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know exactly what's it up here. It did cost time. That much was true. But Glitch found he enjoyed the tailoring. Enjoyed it with an enthusiasm so unwavering. It's a good thing Stuffy enjoys it too. Well, that's good. For him, at least. Can I save the game? No, I think it auto-saved. Anyway, I'm gonna end the episode here, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe for more. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you to these fine people for supporting me on Twitch and on Patreon. And if you want to support me there as well, you can go in the description below and uh, either sub on Twitch or on Patreon. With all that said, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!